But Leslie, there's so much more to you. And one thing that I personally loved, and I'm sure your followers have loved too, is just how open and personal you are about all of your life experiences. And recently, um, you went through, you were very open about your uh, the, the journey and the procedure with your double mastectomy. And so can you talk a little bit about that and what made you undergo that and why you decided to share it with all of your followers as well? Yeah, for sure. So my mom, it all started when my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2014. And I was living in Buenos Aires then. So it's, it's like something you'll never forget when you get that kind of call, you remember exactly where you were. And, um, and my dad was on the phone well, they both, they both were on the phone and he was like, your mom has breast cancer, immediate tears. She had, um, surgery like the very next week and they caught it early. So she's doing really great today, but that led my two sisters and I to get tested for the BRCA gene, the same gene that gave her cancer. And it's just kind of crazy how the dice fell. So my older sister tested positive, my younger sister tested negative, and I got tested last because I was all over the place all the time. And so finally I was home and I was like, okay, I need to go get this test done. And I remember my mom was like, you'll be fine. It'll be negative. And I think that just came from a mother's guilt. Like, and I know she still feels that today. And it's, and I like to flip it on its head because I think she you know, knowing that she was positive for the sheen, it led us to get tested. And like that kind of knowledge is powerful. And I tested positive, obviously. And 40 days later was on an OR table, getting my breast removed at 29 years old. But I think I was so okay with that decision because I remember once I got the news that I was positive, I was weirdly on my way to my gynecologist appointment. And so I had somebody to sit down with at that moment and talk to about it. And, and she was like, you know, if it was me, I wouldn't want to sit on something potentially cancerous. And that just like let mm -hmm. that got the ball rolling. And so by the time I left her office, I already knew I was going to move forward with the preventative surgery and uh, felt really good about it from that moment forward. And I was never somebody super attached to my breasts. Like I know some women are it's just a body part. They love, they're proud of, they you know, it looks great on them, whatever it may be, but I've had like big hips from day one. So like, that's where the attention's always gone up. I remember my mom always saying she had to do elastic waistband jeans on me since the very beginning. And so I've never really focused on my boobs until then. And so, you know, I know a lot of people grieve it like a missed body part, but I think fortunately, fortunately for me, I, I didn't really you know, missed them so much. So I had a, a slightly easier time in, in terms of the emotional, um, and mental wearing on me. Um, the, the physical pain was a lot, but, um, I kind of looked at it as like this cool, like Grey's Anatomy episode where <laughs> I would literally go into the doctor's office every Tuesday and watch them put a needle in my breasts getting me ready for a reconstructive surgery. This was after the double mastectomy and they would fill my breast with saline to like slightly grow a little larger each time. Um, and it was just something that you have to, you have to look at it with a positive attitude. It's everything, or it's just going to wear you down and wear you down and wear you down. And I would say that, and a support system is key. Um, strangers on the internet, literally, got me through it. And I, I think that's when I learned the power of social media is when I put this out on social media, because I wasn't going to be traveling for three, four months. And so I was like, well, if I'm not going to do that, I might as well put this out there. And if I could help just one person, like, boom, I've, I've done my job and had no idea the effect it would have. And uh, literally like strangers on the internet helped me heal in ways I can never describe. <laughs> 